Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, we've been sent a puzzle by Vector Agen, who, not sure if that's a real name, but uh, he says that he found this 17 clue Sudoku puzzle and requests that we um, solve it. So, it's quite interesting to me that a lot of our correspondents are clearly aware that 17 given numbers is the minimum to make a one solution Sudoku. Um, now, it's interesting, but there are very few 17, Sudo 17 given puzzles published. That doesn't necessarily mean that either that there are very few published or that it's the minimum number, that they're necessarily extremely difficult to solve, although obviously it's more likely um, that there are fewer clues, that's going to make it a little harder normally. That's the expectation. So I thought we'd have a go at it. We haven't ever really focused on how many givens um, matter in a classic Sudoku before. Um, so I did once actually buy a book of, or yeah, I was able to buy a book of 17 clue Sudokus by a German author after a World Sudoku Championship once. And they varied in that book between challenging, well, you know, reasonably difficult and very difficult. So we'll see how this one goes. I haven't tried it yet. Um, you can obviously try it on the link below before watching the solve, see how you get along. And I'm just going to have a go at it now. So we've got some useful fours up at the top. But put a four in that cell. Um, and fives, this five and this five combine into this box. Oops, to give us that five, that gives us a five up here in row one. Now I'm going to do some pencil marking. Bad luck to those who don't like it. Some fives going there. In fact, this is quite a good combination up here because of the five cells that are left. There must be a one in one of those, but more importantly, there must be a six, seven pair there. Um, so that must be eight and three because of this six and seven here. Not three, eight, six, five, seven. That must be a nine now, which is a useful. And that's just by, um, that's the only possible nut digit left for that cell, given that one, three, and eight are locked into those three boxes. We've got four, two there, six, five, seven there. So we can put a two, four pair down there. Um, this nine and this nine are fixing two possibilities for each of the nines in boxes two and three. Um, what else have we got? There's a five in one of those. That does fix that five. Um, three, no, three, no, six, one. Ah, we've got four down there and four in one of those two. So four in box nine must be in row seven. Um, and then four there somewhere. Similarly, four there, but also a two there. That's a powerful pair, potentially. Yep, that gives us a one there. We've got three, eight, seven as a triple now in those, and that resolves the six sevens. There, nine and five can go in. Three, eight, six locked into those three cells. Interesting how many triples we're getting locked in fairly quickly. Um, now let's go across. Seven, nine, three, four, five. Uh, one must be up here, mustn't it? Yes. And therefore, one must be here. That gives us a one there. Not sure which of those three is a one. Um, four, two, still don't know. Now, we've got this useful shape again here, six, one, four, five. Which it allows us to put a nine in at least, if nothing else at the moment. That nine plays into this box quite nicely. Must be a nine in one of those. That fixes the nine up there. Now we've got another useful shape up here. Although actually that doesn't yield us anything at the moment because the only 
other numbers fixed in row 3 and column 9 are the same, 4, 5, 1, 9. Um, but it's going all right. I think we might get to a bit of a sticky patch now. Two, nine. This box down here looks quite tempting. Fives, yes, fives there. Look at that. I don't know why that looked so clearly likely to be useful. I think we've done all the fives in the puzzle now. No. Hmm, might need a bit of inspiration at this point. What are we going to find next? Seven and three must both be in this row because of that three and seven there and the shape of this box. Now that is useful for threes. That puts a three in there. Um, five, three. Six, one, seven and eight must both be in this row. That can't be a seven. Um, where else can we pick something up now? a lot of progress but we're not quite there yet I mean especially not an eight placed in the puzzle there wasn't a given and we haven't got anything out yet from the eights now we could use a bit of uniqueness assuming this is a genuine puzzle we've got two locked in there as well as a four we've already got a four locked in here now if there was a two locked in there as well that would mean the puzzle didn't have a unique solution. So I think it's fair to assume it does, given the circumstances in which vectors sent it to us. Um, so this two rules out that cell and that cell. Those two are ruled out by uniqueness. There must be a two in one of those two. That places the two up here, which fixes the nine. Um, get a nine in one of those two. We've got a decent shape up here but it doesn't finish anything off but that two fix rules out those two cells so it fixes a two here that puts a two in one of these two the only number left for this cell is an eight um, that fixes this six eight pair I've got two one to place in there um, this is 372, so that fixes this 2 4 pair now. That's not the 4, and therefore this one is. 4 7 8, can't resolve that pair, but that's a 6. 4 6 3 2 5 9 1 8 and 7 to go in this column. Not sure which way yet, though. Ah, now there's a 2 here and a 2 here, and that's ruling out 2 from both those cells. Um, the 2, there's a 2 in one of those, 2 there, that gives us a 2 here. This is 3 or 8, like that. 5, 2, 4. 5, 9, there's a 3 and 8 in some combination. Don't know which way around yet. Ah, this 8 that we've placed can't now be in those cells, so it must be here. Um, 2, 8, but we don't know about 3 and 6 in this box yet. 6, we've got a 6 here, that's ruling out those 3 cells. 6 there rules out those 2, so the other 6, the 6 in that box must be there. Now that 6, and that being a 6, means 6 must be one of these two. And we can tell which it is from that 6, so 3 must go in there. That fixes the 7, 3 pair. Get 6 there, 3 next to it, 7 and 8 to go in at the top. Don't know the order yet. 7 and 3 to go in row 4, they must be in that order. 
And it's really starting to come together now. Five, two, seven, three, six, four. Um, I'm sure that one of those numbers must help us. Oh, I don't know, the eight hasn't given anything away. Um, I feel that this should be just caving in now. Six, three, that can't be a three. Hmm, what finishes this off? Ah, one in the central box is actually resolved. It couldn't have been there. Um, so one in one of those two. Nine is now fixed. These are six, eight, and three. That one must be a three. So that fixes the 2, 3 pair, fixes the 4, 2 pair, fixes the 9, 4 pair. So lots done in the middle there. Um, this is the last cell in its column. And now we've got the 8 over there. Right, so this is 1, 6 up here. And I mean, this puzzle... You know, there's been there's been a bit of a crunchy challenge there, but it hasn't been too difficult in the end. And I think that is the solution to a 17 given Sudoku. So I think proving that they don't have to be all that difficult. Now the the uniqueness trick down here was useful. Possibly it wasn't necessary, it was what I could see at the time. And that's what you get from a live solve, is what I'm finding as I go along. At other times, I might find other things. So I hope that was interesting, a, a reasonably quick solve of a 17 given Sudoku, just to show that they don't have to be too terrifying. Thanks very much for watching, and I uh, hope to see you again on Cracking the Cryptic soon.